Got some Stellas. Got some Talicas. The Muller runs here. We're going to have some fun today. We're going to anchor up right here. This is a good spot. We see some tarpon rolling. There's mullet in close. We can't get any closer, unfortunately. There's a big swell, and we don't want to risk flooding the boat. So we're going to anchor up here, get the kites up, get some baits out, and start catching fish. Baits are out. Kites are up. We're going to catch fish now. Tarp, was it tarpon? I have no idea. Probably not. If not, we're going to get cut off right here. We're on. We are hooked up. Nope. He's done. No, he's not. Swim in awards, dude. Real fast. Why is it not popping on the clip? It is. It's out. You got a fish on, bro. Carpenter or shark? Let's see. Dude, I see that explosion. He's gone. Definitely a shark. Or a cuda. Looks like a cuda. Let me look. Let me look. Are those black tips? That's a black tip. What? I mean, that's a tarpon. He ate it. He ate it. That's a tarpon, bro. That's a tarpon! Hold on, hold on, hold on, he missed it. He spit it out, he felt the hook. Already got two bites, a missed black tip and a missed tarpon. The water is super dirty right now, so the fish are relying mostly on their lateral lines. Is that a bite? If we can get a tarpon on the kite, we're 0 for 1 right now. If we can get one on the kite, that'd be epic. A lot of people are going to want to watch that. I don't think anyone's ever done it before. No. Okay. Black tip on, baby. Dude, he skied on it, guys. Completely airborne. That was so sick. Beautiful, dude. I love that. So kite fishing is teamwork. As you see, we have a fit. We have two lines. We're running across right now, dude. You got to pull them up. We have two lines that are that are uh, in the way. This fish is running across on the surface. What an epic bite! That shark came out of the water just like literally ate the bit, ate the mole in midair. Unbelievable. that ring gone all right so mono cut mono we got a tangle with the kite lines that sucks breaking up the top of 25 right now this is the reel to do it you hook a 200 pound tarpon on a little on a toy i'm 30 you're gonna be in for a fight for life you hook a 200 pound tarpon on that thing game over it's getting kind of dicey out here right now there's huge swells and tide's going out so that makes things a little more challenging they're gonna start breaking on us soon we may have to relocate here in the next uh, little bit Carl look, look at this one dude that's a good one right there we're good yeah they're getting bigger and we're getting shallower getting so. and the, the water's getting shallower that's pretty scary right there you get the wrong wave and the boat goes so if it gets too dicey we're gonna change locations go to deeper water and try to get away from these swells Hey, we got fish, 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 right fish, 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 fish. Which one? I got it. This one, this one, bro. This one, this one, this one. What'd you see? Yeah, I don't know. Is it a tarpon or a shark? He's eating it right now. That's a fish. He's fighting it. Could have been a tarpon. All right, reel the short one. Tight. He's tight. Could be a big jack, man. Number. Giant kingfish. You think so? All I was just saying. If he's a giant king, I think Carl's gonna lose his mind. Alright, I'm going underneath there, right? How's it feel? Good. Not giant. Not giant. Here he comes. Here he comes. Big in line, big in line. We had a dead battery, guys. We had to change battery there quickly. Watch the swell. Huge swells. Carl's got a. What do you got there, dude? Oh, what is. Oh, oh what is that, dude? Hammer what is it? It's a freaking hammerhead, dude. Watch out, watch out. It's a freaking hammerhead. There he is, right here. Look down. He's right below you. Big hammerhead. Where's he at? I'm gonna catch him. Where's he at? Take that bait off. Dude, that was crazy. What is this? I have no idea. I think you got a big jack on. It's a little black tip, bro. He's gonna eat that black tip, dude. You see that? I think he will. Oh, 100%. Is that what it is? A little black tip. Yeah, he definitely he won't eat that thing. Grab that line real quick. It's a big race for the break on it. Right. Well, I got it. That's only a 30-pound fish, dude. Hey, yeah. I can't hold him, bro. Oh my god, do this wave, do this wave, do this wave. <laughs> cool. Perfect. There he goes. Ciao, dude.
Nice fish, dude. Yeah. Got our first fish in the boat, a small black tip, probably around 30, 40 pounds. We're gonna move now. It's too dicey here. You saw when I was leaving that fish, that giant swell, it literally almost broke in the boat. It's an eight foot swell. Oh God. All right, get on the anchor, please. Oh my gosh, guys, we gotta move right now. That last wave nearly broke on the boat. It would have cast out this boat. It's way too risky here now. The wind's picked up 20, 30 miles an hour. It's huge swells, eight foot, 10 foot swells. We're gonna move on to a different spot. We're putting the kites in right now. We're gonna, there's fish here, but unfortunately it's too risky to catch them. So we're gonna move further south, get away from these swells and reset the kites. You guys see this green buoy? That used to be, you see that, you see that? I don't know if you can see that, that red buoy. That used to be 500 yards further south. Hurricane Irma was so big and bad that this thing must have been submerged or something and it moved this buoy, which is, I can't imagine the size of the anchor that holds that buoy. Moved it 500 yards north, that's unbelievable. <laughs> We're so desperate now. Yeah, exactly. We're flying guys. Remember the last time we came in, the, in here? In the well, let's go stuff. catch barracudas, let's go catch barracudas. Yeah, we slayed. You're like oh boy. No, I'll catch I'll catch houndfish all day long. I don't care. What? Look, yeah, who got his title for? Like a doom ass. So that's because you took and changed my thing. How high are you gonna go? You gonna go up to the moon? I'm gonna go touch the moon. Okay. <laughs> Stop! Stop! Oh jeez. The days I'm calling Josh and telling him you'll have the best show of your life. Oh, I'm in Virginia catching rainbow trout. Or... <laughs> Oh my gosh, dude, that was insane. You see that? <laughs> that was no junk fish right there, dude. What was that? I don't know, man. Giant I don't think so. The bait's still alive. He hit it. It was a big jack or something. That's just a big jack, dude. Yeah. It's a yeah. huge jack of all. Oh my gosh. That was a giant jack. Oh. That was a 40 pounder. Yep. Wow. All right, let's get our bait out there and try again. That's all we can do. He's eating, he's eating, he's eating, he's eating, he's eating. Alright, before he jumps over in the other boat. Tighten that drag rope, put on that. That's Arpin, bro? No. Let's find out. Acting like one. Oh shoot, big jack dude. He's, he's, he's on the ledge, bro. He's on the ledge. I, I, I gotta give him free support. He's gotta get up. It's a huge jack of all. Okay? Yeah, he broke me off. I told you. He's on the ledge. The ledge goes down 30 feet, bro. He was on the ledge trying to break me off. That's what they do, bro. He cut me off. You know what? If we were in any other situation, I would have moved the boat over there and got back to the ledge. You can see right there. I hit a piece of rock right there. Cut it in one second. The ledge right here goes from like goes from like nine feet to like 40 feet. It's just a straight wall. He, he went over the wall and tried to break. He just he was, was rubbing on the rock. Nothing, nothing we could have done in this situation. We have kites up, we got an anchor out. Too much going on to move the boat. Alright. That may be a poop. That might be a poop. Look at that. What the f is it? Dude, it's a stud, bro. We got a fish on. Oh, fast. No, oh, he's fast, dude. He's trying to bring me off the buoy, bro. I got some mad heat on him right now. It's a 30, 40 pound Jack Revolt. Don't go to the ledge, don't go to the ledge. It's like 30 pounds of drag on it right now. We are tight. Did you want to move your rod, Steve? Yeah. I'm so exhausted, I just worked so hard. The last Jack I hooked cut me off on the ledge. This is what I think we're going to get. Got a lot of drag on him right now. He's swimming fast. Dude, he's big. Watch your anchor line. You're good. There he is. Oh, he's huge, dude. Look at him. He is. He's a big. Giant, bro. Giant. Look at him. Look at him, dude. Dude, that's a 30, 40 pounder.
Yeah. You know it's a big fish when he's doing this, bro. Give him where he wanted to win. Huge. Ain't no freaking 20 pounds, bro. Okay, I'm gonna watch out. Got, got, got. He's all fed up by his tail. I'll get my buddy too. Hey, come here. He's buried. He ain't going nowhere. Stud, dude. Give me that fish, bro. Look at that guy. Oh, that's oh. a nice one. That's a stud. That's 25, 30 pounds right there. Look at that fish. What a stud! Let's let him go. Here he goes. What a fish, guys. Oh my Got gosh. Dude, do you see how hard he fight? Yeah, that's awesome. How hard he fight? Bro, I can't even speak English. Oh my gosh. I had a pump so hard right there. The last jack I hooked, there was a ledge right there. He broke me off on it, so I was so paranoid. That fish was gonna break me off too. He was headed straight for the exact same spot. And I wore myself out. I was pumping so hard and so fast. I had like 30, 40 pounds of dragging that fish. I just tell it was locked down. And uh, got him in. Got him in. We had to go around the boat like three times, but we got him. He's a 25, 30 pound Jack Raval. Unbelievable. This fish fights so hard, like mini GTs. You know, I see s that I just can't even believe anymore. Fishing in the intercoastal has this advantage. We got a delivery pizza coming right now, literally right to the boat, and we're gonna buy a pizza right now. It's unbelievable, guys. Only in Florida. Enjoy cheese and pepperoni. Uh, pepperoni. What are we on Channel 12 News? Oh yeah. Here you go. Thank Thanks, you, guys. Appreciate it, guys. Whew. Hot, fresh pizza. On the water while we're fishing, look at that. Oh man, thank you. This is a good day now. Guys, the fishing may suck today, but when you get a pizza on the water from a delivery guy, it's the bomb. Oh man, so good. You ain't eating, are you? Dude, you try a piece, bro, try it. You good? You good? Yep. He goes, psh. What? He goes, psh. I didn't think you were gonna eat one. Uh, why, why don't you eat one? Today is Sunday. Oh. Uh, what's that mean? I eat whatever I want. It's very rare in Florida to have dirtier water coming in on the incoming tide than the outgoing tide. But that's what's happening right now. We got the nasty Hurricane Irma Okeechobee water flushing in here. The bike completely shut down. Before this water came in here, it was actually a pretty good bite. We had three big jacks, a cuda, and maybe even a tarpon. All right yep. here, it was going off and now it's completely dead. The beach was good this morning too, actually. We got three black tips, one tarpon, before the dirty water flushed in and ruined everything. Now we got a giant swell out there. Yeah. Super hard conditions, but we still got it down. We caught some fish. Yeah. We didn't get the fish we wanted, but we did prove one thing. Kite fishing during the muller run definitely works for tarpon. I mean, dude, this guy lost his mind. Very, it's, very effective way of fishing. When you, saw, when you saw that tarpon, dude, you lost your mind. I thought it was a shark at first. I never seen a tarpon on the surface circling the bait like that. And then he came up and, and jumped. But yeah, it was awesome. It's pretty mean, good, man. Yeah, definitely. Make sure you guys go and check out Slob City Charters. Link's in the description. Hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you next time.